Hello? Shit, were you sleeping? No, it's fine. What's up? Um, are you still gonna be in town tomorrow? Yeah, it looks that way. Is there any way you can, like, take me to the airport tomorrow? I've got a flight to leave at, like, 4 a.m. And uh, I told him, yeah, I got too early. Um, uh, you know, I, I can uh, check the gas in your car. Or, you know, get you there and I can finally go out. You don't have to do that, it's fine. Are you sure? I just, I don't want to be one of those people who will only call for me to do something. You know, I hate those people. It's okay, I don't think that. It's open. Hey, do you need some help? No, it's fine. It smells good in here. I'd offer you some, but I'm about to finish it off. No, you're fine. Is that where you sleep? No, I made it for you. Hmm. Uh, I'm not going to bed. Oh, you're not? Were, were you planning on sleeping? No, no, I just made it in case you got sleepy. Oh. I mean, I just, I don't do very well getting up at like four in the morning. <laughs> Thanks, though. Mm -hmm. Go somewhere. Like where? I don't care. I've just been in class all day today. I don't want to be inside anymore. Okay. It's just like every year my dad wants me to come home right after I get out of class and so it's like I don't have a break at all, you know? He wants me to come home so that I can spend time with my family and then it's like we end up just fighting about food isn't cooked right and um, just it's like the least thankful day of the year. <laughs> Maybe your family isn't doing it right. That's an understatement. I don't know. I'm just ready to graduate. I'm ready to be on my own and do what I want and be who I want. Move as far away from here as I can. Just go MIA or something. Maybe I'll find a cute philosophy major and hitch a ride with him. <laughs> I heard Charles Manson is up for parole. Mm -hmm. Who's that? It's my mom. You can call back if you want. Nah, no, it's okay. <laughs> you sure? I don't mind. Yeah. I don't really want to talk to her right now. <laughs> You know, I've never seen any of your artwork. Yes, you have. <laughs> no, I really haven't. I just did a bunch of my life drawing class. If you want to go back out afterwards, we can check them out. OK.
No, they're not very good. Yes, they are. Mm. I just finished this one yesterday. Really? Mm hmm. It's awesome. Thanks. Hello. What's wrong? Hey, are you all right? Yeah. I locked the car. Let's go downtown.
Mm. I was in high school. I used to make sure that no one ever ate lunch alone. Anytime I saw anyone, I would invite them to our table. This one guy I invited over said that he didn't have any friends, so I told him that I could be one. I invited him to a few things, and we would hang out. He never went outside, so I thought I'd invite him to go hiking. He really loved it. It was, he was like a little kid. We started to go every few weeks or so, and, and I noticed that he started to get a little clingy, but I, I didn't say anything. One night, when I was asleep, I woke up and his hands were down my pants. In my dream, I was with my girlfriend and I didn't know what was happening. He kept touching me and I wanted to stop it. I wanted whatever was happening to stop. I confronted him about it later and he said that if I told anyone that he would kill himself. I didn't know what to do, so I told him that I wouldn't be his friend anymore. And then he took his shirt and he started to choke himself with it. I felt so helpless. I, I, I couldn't run away. I couldn't tell anyone. I couldn't, I just, I was just so confused. And this, this rumor started going around school that, that he was gay. And I didn't tell anyone, I, I didn't tell anyone. It must have hit him hard, because he shot himself. I can't shake this feeling like it was my fault. Like, like, I was the one that killed him.